Okay, so we've got a Necro and we've got a Risen Ogre. It's actually called a Risen Ogre. Alright, I'm going to get yes. the puppy to go for the Necro. Uh, I'm gonna help with the ogre. I shall do it. And I'm gonna get Win to also target the necro. I shall do so. Me and Alistair will deal with the ogre. As you say, it shall be done. I shall do it. Are these grunts? No, they're just summoning corpses. Uh, I'll take out the little dudes, Alistair. I deal with the big dude. No, 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 no. Oh, stunned. Okay, good. No! That was a wrong time. Mm. No. Win. Oh, we've got regen. That regen better be on me. Off I go. There we go. Bashy bash bash. How do we win the necro? Not too bad. Okay, when you can carry on doing your magic. Hmm. Shall I wait until more sham uh, it's a shaman cops attacking win? It is as well. Um freeze that. How are we doing with Necro? The dog is actually doing an absolutely amazing job. Keep, uh, keep at it, dog. Keep at it. You know what? Let's, uh, oh, have I always used? Oh, Mark Death is on the... On the, um... Doing good here, actually. I could use a bomb. Actually, let's use acidic coating here. There we go. Um, win. Pick a miner. The dog's doing great. The dog is doing a fantastic job. How oh, is Necromancer? I mean, he hasn't lost a lot of health, but he's doing what he needs to do. Okay, take a potion, Alistair. Oh, god damn it. Ogre, stop doing that, you asshat. Stop knocking me on the ground. There we go, Alistair with epic moment. Do you need help? I'm just gonna put in there. I am here. Now I wonder. No, the necro's still there. Ready. Okay, I'm gonna give you a potion. And I'm going to get you to group heal everyone. Yes. While we charge for that crow. And now it's all gonna end in tears for the net crow. As you say, it is begun. I shall do it. There we go. Down. There it is. The last of them. It has been a long day. By the lines around your eyes, I dare say you look as old as I. And if I may say so, milady, you appear to be getting younger by the day. Be careful who you flirt with, young man. <laughs> when you wake up beside me tomorrow morning, I'll be back to reminding you of your grandmother. Beside you? You heard what I said. It would not be the first time I woke to a younger man in my bed. 
Are all women this evil and conniving when they grow old? Just me, my dear. <laughs> Just me. Oh, I love that. This game gets so much right. The humour is so good. What did the ogre have? Duncan's dagger and Duncan's sword. I'll be using Duncan's dagger. Uh, we'll have a look at that stuff. But I've got so much inventory management to do. Right, I'll just do a bit of inventory management. Actually, no, we'll go back to camp, then we'll do it. And what I might do is I might end it there, and then next session. Um, and then next session we can go through what we picked up. Is this the way out? No? Is this not the way out? Is it just back the way I came then? Really? Oh, we have this bit, don't we? We have to go back and see Kaylin. I forgot about that. Alistair, are you all right? Oh, they left him here to rot. We need to do something. He is of royal blood and deserves pyre. He was a good man, who hoped too much and died too young. He deserves what little honour we can afford to grant him. Well... At least we've laid him to rest in the right way. I may be a Dalish elf, but I will still. Oh, hello. I may be a Dalish elf, but I will still honor. The human rituals um, when it comes to honoring someone like King Kalen. Okay, but we're done. And this has to be probably my favorite DLC, um, particularly of the in-game DLC. I'm not sure which one I like more out of this and Awakening, because I really liked Awakening. And this is quite a short DLC as well. So... But I'm happy that we've done this in one session. So we'll head back to camp. And then when we start next session I think we're gonna move on to the elves we need to talk to us as well so this is gonna be a very long session might have to be five episodes a lot to cover I think I owe you an explanation for what happened earlier yes you had me worried you should know that something happened to me at the tower before you came along. Remember my apprentice, Petra? She encountered a demon in the tower. It would have killed her had I not intervened. I saved her life that day, but I did not survive that encounter with the demon. You're undead? No, I'm not undead. If I were a possessed walking corpse and could still think, I'd kill myself. 
I engaged a very powerful demon to rescue Petra. It sapped me of all my energy and will and left me drained. It took everything I had to defeat it. And when I was done, I no longer had the strength to keep my heart beating. I remember my life ebbing away. Everything receded from me. Sound, light. I remember being enveloped in complete, impenetrable darkness. And then I sensed a presence enfolding me and cradling me, whispering quietly to me. The sensation is impossible to describe. I was being held back firmly but gently as a mother would a child eager to slip from her grasp. I felt life and warmth flowing through my veins again. I began to be aware of small sounds and the discomfort of my hip pressing into the cold stone of the tower floor. So you were never really completely dead then? The Fade contained spirits both benevolent and malicious. The benevolent spirits seldom make themselves known because they want nothing from mortals unlike the demons. It was one of these spirits that saved me. Without it, I would be dead. And it has not left me. It is with me, even now, bonded to me. You see, I am supposed to be dead. It is the spirit that is keeping me in this world. And this is not the way of things. Perhaps the spirit did not expect this, but it is weakening gradually. I am living on borrowed time. And that might explain why Wynne was revived that one time. She does have a passive ability that allows her to be able to come back to the battle even after she's been knocked out. How long will the spirit last? I do not know. I can feel when the spirit weakens, so I should have fair warning. But come, let us not talk about this. There is time yet. Okay. So I just want to have a good look through the inventory, make sure I've ditched everything I want to ditch. So, we'll do this very quickly. Duncan's Dagger. I would say that is better than the Cheese Knife. It's got the same stats, but more dexterity, more critical backstab damage, more damage against dragons. So that can go in my on hand, that can go in my off hand. And I think I'm going to ditch that. Oh, actually, no, that's unique. I'll keep it. Um, does anyone else need leveling before uh, we do anything else? Yep, yeah, Morrigan. I'll give her some willpower, magic, a bit more constitution. And I'll go with... I'll give her a bit of healing magic. Rejuvenate sounds good. Unless there's anything else I want. Hmm. Yeah, that's probably the most useful. I want to give her some healing abilities. Alice is fine. Lele? I'll give her more dexterity. I'll give her two dexterity, one constitution. And what do we want here? We've got aim. Critical shot. That's not bad. Go with that. Sure. Win. She must have just leveled. Um, willpower, and then we'll give her a bit of health as well. And like I say, we need to work on her offensive abilities, so we'll give her lightning. Oh, why didn't I give her mind blast? I didn't think. Mind blast next time. My dog's leveled again. Uh. Put a bit into magic and then we'll put the last one into strength. I want to get the magic up to at least 12. Because it does actually help with the um, potions that you use. I've got six points to give Stan. 
three of those. I only want to get his strength up to 30, and then I'll put one into dexterity, I guess. So that's against golems, and that is... That's less situational. Can't do anything there, so we'll go with that. Oh, there's two abilities. Okay, we'll go with both of them then. Sure. Severin doesn't need leveling, amazingly. Need to shale. Cool. Alright, now we can have a look at the stuff. Alright. So. That's fine. Morrigan. You're fine for weapons. Alistair. Okay. So there's Marek's Blade or Duncan's Sword. So we'll give him Marek's Blade and we'll see if Duncan's Sword is any better. Hmm. Much of a muchness. I'll give him Duncan's Sword then. Because I think that would be better for him. To have that. Lele, I think you're good. Oh no, you can use the Fox's Bow now, can't you? We'll equip that then, and we'll get rid of your bow. Oh, it's a wild bow. Never mind. It's unique. I want to keep it. Wind doesn't need anything. Mabari doesn't need anything. Stan. Can't use your Zarish yet, but you can use the great sword that I've got. Yeah, bonuses are better than chasing flat blade. As in... The stats from the Great Sword outrank the buffs that the Jason Flatblade gets because you got to remember the Flatblade is only grey eye. Zevran, I think you're alright with your daggers. Shale, you're fine. Okay, armour. Okay, is there any armour here? We can get rid of the helm. So anything that I want. Leather boots, no. That's junk. I think I'm alright. Morrigan, fine. Alistair, I'm going to give him Kaelin's stuff when he's got enough strength. So he needs 36 strength, so I'll bear that in mind. I guess I could give him those. Much better armour. That can go to junk. I'm going to get rid of that because that's nowhere near as good as the other stuff I've got. Lele I think is fine but I'll give her the repeater gloves. Rapid aim and arm penetration. And I'll get rid of those because that's junk. Wind's fine, Mabari's fine. Sten. Heavy chainmail gloves, red steel, nice. Heavy plate boots, are those better? They are. Even those, heavy chainmail. That's better than what he's got. Give him that. Nice. Look at him now. He is pretty. Uh, well kitted out. I don't like the red colour, but it's fine. And then we can get rid of that, that, that. Zevran. Leather boots. But that's studded leather. Junk. Move back to junk. It's fine. Shale's fine. Okay. I don't think there's any necklaces or anything. There's a couple. But I think everyone's got a necklace. I think I've looked through everyone's stuff. So that's fine. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. 
Let me see your wares. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Sell all the junk, just all of it. And uh, in terms of stuff, um, I'll buy a corruptor agent from you, just the one. And I'll buy a flask from you as well. We're looking pretty good for money now. How are we doing for carry weight? Not too bad. I've got a lot of stuff that people need higher stats for. I need to look at um, Alistair's strength. And also, let's just hand out the gift as well that we have to Alistair. Is that for me? And there we go. And yeah, I think that's where we're going to leave it for this session, guys. It's been quite a long one, but we got a lot done. So yeah, that's where we're going to leave it for this session, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed these episodes, please don't forget to leave your likes, your shares, your comments. It really would help me out a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel or subscribe if you're new. And if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter where you'll be able to keep up with everything that happens on the channel and get involved in a bit of banter. But until next time, guys, goodbye. Thanks for watching.